somewhere in a notebook, I record it for future treasuring. My mother later rips out the page on my ancestors. The stewardess <laughs> chases me down, the last passenger off the plane, and hands me my forgotten watch. <laughs> She'll memorize me. She'll memorize my flight number, my name, the only other native, and report back at Ashgabat's airport and declare that I, a traitor, betrayed my country yet again. My name has grown familiar there. I watch the last of the flight crew cross the border. My mother tells me not to speak. I look at the officers and my feet dig themselves into the ground. My pulse suddenly thick with guilt. The sigh that sounded way too much like, oh God, what were they thinking? Or even louder still, the glance to the co-worker that said, why do I have to deal with this on my shift? Or even louder still, the grunt that said, you don't belong here. I become scared because my goodbyes don't seem so final enough. My nose gauges the officer's auras, as stale as the 3 a.m. air around us. There is a reason they wanted this job, and it wasn't to be nice. I guess because I'm a child, they're not so harsh to me. I'm not manhandled, not grilled with toxic questions like they do with my mother. Yet I still feel the need to answer for her. A waiting room away. The soundproof walls cannot hit, block out the way I can hear or imagine my mother crying under a harsher light. In that dim waiting room that faced the Birmingham one way, <laughs> runway, my heart kept on buzzing. It was cold. Ashgabat's weather had left us underdressed for the October's unheated indoors. There was a TV there. Once my mother fell asleep, I figured the remote and switched to BBC Three. Who knew returning to EastEnders would be so soothing? The average law-abiding human has their finger printed zero times throughout their life. Mine have been recorded seven times in several different locations and that day was just one of them. I felt like a criminal. October 27th, 2011. All that buzzed through my heart was Hostility, hostility, never felt so much like home. 